Hey, and welcome back to the playthrough of The Legend of Zelda. I have a little bit of bad news. Well, they're not really that bad. I mean, it's just a little bit annoying. Yesterday, as I was recording some more parts of this playthrough, um, my recorder program decided to be an asshole, and because of that, I lost all my episodes. So, the next few parts we're gonna do, I have already done, so... Well, this could be good. I, I, I know where to go next, so that could be helpful. Alright, so now we have a key that we finally finished farming uh, rupees for. Oh, shit. And, oh my god, please don't hit me. There you go, fuck you. Alright, and now we're going back to finish the level 4 dungeon. Very sadly, I actually advanced a pretty big chunk that time. I finished the level 4 dungeon and I think I finished the level 5 one. I know I've, di I've done most of it. That doesn't matter. It's, it's a pretty hard dungeon so don't worry it's gonna be entertaining. It's gonna be entertaining a lot because I died a lot during... Uh, I don't wanna think about it. Oh yes you jumping assholes. I remember you dick dick holes. Okay so what were we doing? Oh yes, we got stuck and we had no key. For some reason this dungeon does not give you enough keys right away to to open all the doors, I think, unless there's like some sort of secret room that I haven't visited or something. Because I have been told that there are such things, rooms that do not appear on- fucking dicks. Rooms that do not appear on the map that you can get to by exploding walls. That makes some sense and at the same time makes no sense at all because what's the use of having a map if... Uh, whatever. Whatever. Anyways, we can do this. And we almost have enough money for that piece of meat that we saw in the store. I still don't know what that's for though. So that could be interesting for us to find out. I also very recently found out where the level 2 dungeon is. I stumbled across it when I was farming for rupees. But we're gonna go to the level 5 dungeon after this, since that one I have already done. And not the level 2 one. Okay, let's bypass these assholes, because the boss of this dungeon is pretty annoying. Yes, yes. Walk into the waterfall. Yes, we did that. We did that. It's a pretty lame secret. Okay, but from now on, we haven't done anything. This is, this is all new, recording-wise, at least. Fuck you. See, they give you a key, but this key is useless, because there are no more locked doors. Oh my god. Fuck you. Oh my god. Again. Jesus, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? Yeah, there are no more locked doors. This is the door before the boss, so... You can hear the boss roaring away on the other side. Fuck you, fuck you, and you. You too. Like that have to kill everything before we can move that rock and open the boss door. This boss is pretty annoying too. Come on, push it. Okay. It hits sort of hard, and I'm probably gonna die the first time because... One, two, fuck you. Three, four, fuck that door. Oh my god, see? See what I mean? See what I mean? Yeah, that's that's what I figured. That's what I figured would happen. Now we have three hearts. Three hearts isn't a lot. I wish we had more health. But I was a jackass when I was trying to get here, so didn't conserve my health. Go in, avoid the jumping assholes. Uh, now we need a candle. Now we 
boomerang. Alright, alright, we can do this. Okay, no, no, don't go that way. No, no. Okay, let's go. One more. Cool. Some money. Money's always welcome because we need a lot of it. Why? Because there's that ring that costs 250 rupees. I have no idea what it's for, but I'm pretty sure it'll be important. Let's go. One more. This one should be not such a big deal. There, almost there. Now we have to listen to the old man. Come on, old man. You know the bats, and I'm lazy, and I don't want to, and I don't want to light the room up. I'm gonna light this one up because I forgot to do it last time. The layout is this. That's why I got hurt. Like so. There, now we need to clear this room. Don't you dare hit me. I need all the health that I can get. Ha! Great use of the boomerang there. That. Someone also told me that apparently to save in this game without dying, of course. You would need to use to connect the second controller, and I know that the NES came with two controllers because back then every console came with two controllers. Now they're greedy, greedy assholes, and they ask you to dish out extra money for a second controller. But you know that's an issue for another time. One, two, fuck you, two, three, four, fuck me on the floor, five, fucking six, suck my dicks. And I'm gonna die again, ain't I? Of course I am. One, two, three. No, come on! This is the controller's fault. Jesus. Uh, I'll be right back. I don't want to put you guys through that again. All right, attempt number what three this time? Let's go. I have almost full health this time. This 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 should be easy. No, not really. You, that's the pattern. The pattern is really hard. Okay, I think he shoots two now. Fuck you. Come on. I avoided that. That was... Can I defend... No, I cannot. My shield is powerless against this. My awesome, really long shield. Really big shield. Come on. Oh, oh come on. Okay. Now it becomes slightly harder. Because there is a flying demon child thingy over there that I still haven't figured out what it is. And both that and the dragon shoot fireballs at me. Oh my god, really? I'm almost dead again. Aw, oh, damn it. This, this isn't going well. This isn't going well. And for those of you wondering why the fuck am I not using bombs or other things on the dragon, it's because nothing works! Urgh! I'll be right back. Yeah, here we go again. Again, not with full life, because it would be too easy to kill this boss with full life and be able to hit him at a distance. No, 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 no. We have to do it the hard fucking way with the stupid ass controller that. God damn it, controller, go the right way! God damn it, I'm not gonna live this again, am I? This is not going to be the one. Oh, come on! That was... Damn it! Okay, this is attempt number... 629. Fucking monsters in this dungeon are assholes and don't drop anything because they're... Pussies. 
<sighs> so I cannot fight this boss with full life. And they're assholes because they jump too. Ugh. Concentration! God damn it! I've already been hit twice and I didn't even hit, a hit him. And oh my god, the hitboxes are weird. Oh my god. Are you for real? Are you for real? Fuck you once again. And again. Yes! Take that, asshole. We now have eight hearts. Eight heart containers. Ah! Fulfillment! Alright, onwards to the level 5 dungeon. And the level 5 dungeon is, as the lady inside the waterfall told us, in the mountain. Well, she didn't tell us this, she gave us the code to be able to exit the, the maze, is what I'm gonna call it, the maze, in the mountains, and find the level 5 dungeon. We're gonna do next on the Legend of Zelda. Oh, fucking dicks, eh? God damn you, monsters! Dick holes, you guys are dicks. And oh boy, this dungeon, this dungeon, oh boy, this dungeon, oh boy. It's gonna be a treat for you if you like seeing me rage. Fucking dicks, that dungeon is hard. Right here. Now we go right a little bit more. Avoid getting hit by the falling popcorn. Let's go. One more screen. So the waterfall was there, and the lady inside it. Thank you, that's useless, but thank you very much. Alright, so now we have to go up a lot. She told us to, to go up twice, I think, but she's wrong. You have to go up like four times. Yeah, four times. There we go. Next dungeon. Dungeon number five. There we go. So right off the bat, we have these asshole enemies right here. And oh boy, are they assholes. I'll remind you that I have done this before because my previous recording messed up. Not because of my own volition. I really would like to have kept that virgin run of this, but I couldn't. And I must tell you, these, these bunnies, these are bunnies from fucking hell. Satan himself spawned these bunnies. Yeah. They take 10,000 hits. Everything in this dungeon takes 10,000 hits. We got a key. Now we got extra keys. Fantastic. And thank god keys from other dungeons work on this one. Oh, Gibdos. Yes, we have Gibdos. Let's equip this. Fantastic. Also, bombs are really important this, in this dungeon. Because... Because mobs are, again, weak to bombs in this dungeon. Same as in the third one, I think. What is this shit? Dig Dogger hates certain kind of sound. And you hate correct grammar, don't you? I, he ref he's referring to the boss of the dungeon. And we will ha tango with him a little bit later. Now let's try and see if there's an exit here, because I know some rooms can be blown out, like this one! Some doors can be blown up in this dungeon. More Gibdos! Amazing! Fantastic! Oh, and this one drops bombs, so I can fucking use some bombs to blow up the Gibdos here. I think each bomb is worth four bombs, if that makes any sense. Yes. So now I'm capped on bombs. That's very useful right there. When, when I was playing this for the first time, you you, you never spawned fairies for me. And, and let me tell you, that is pretty annoying. And how do you open that? I don't remember how you open that. Do you have to push anything here? 
No. Pushing shit. No. 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 Nope. 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 Again, as I was told, the map to the dungeon doesn't tell you where all the rooms are. There are some secret rooms that can, you can only find if you blow doors up. And, oh my god, this room. This room is the bane of my existence. It is, it is, and I'm gonna try to beat it by using, abusing, the beam sword. Because there is no other way I'm gonna beat this. This room is, is the room from hell. 